will now repeat our adventurer pledge. Because Jesus loves me, I will always do my best. Our adventurer law, Jesus can help me to be obedient, be pure, be true, be kind, be respectful, be attentive, be helpful, be cheerful, be thoughtful, be reverent. <clears throat> we will now sing our adventure song. Welcome adventurers, staff, parents, friends, and church family to the 2023-24 Village Explorers Adventure Investiture Service. I count it a privilege and a blessed that we can be here to celebrate the accomplishments of our adventurers. Our adventurers have worked all year long to complete requirements at their course level, to earn chips and awards. Before we certify our candidates, I would just like to share with you a little about the Adventurer Curriculum. The Adventurer Curriculum is divided into six levels. Little Lamb is for pre-kindergarten, Eager Beaver is for kin kindergarten, Busy Bee is for first graders, Sunbeam is for second graders, Builder is for third graders, and Helping Hand is for fourth graders. Each level is designed to interest, challenge, and provide successful experiences for children of that grade level. This year, the Village Explorers Adventure Club had three classes, Eager Beaver, Busy Bee, and Builder. The Adventure curriculum is organized around four basic relationships in a child's life. My God, myself, my family, and my world. Before we present our adventurers with their chips, awards, and pins, each of our classes will bless us with a short presentation. First, we'll start with the Eager Beaver class under the direction of their teacher, Mrs. Deller Fevrier. Let's give them a hand. Good morning, church. This morning, I am here to give an overview of the Eager Beaver class. The Eager Beaver curriculum encourages the physical, mental, and spiritual development of a child. During the past year, Seth and Stefan has read many Bible verses. They have maintained their praying habits. We learn about having good manners and knowing what our body parts are and how we should care for them. We spoke about the importance of family, the family being a unit God created to help prepare each member for his return. Safety was another important topic we discussed. We learned about the different birds, different activities. We did activities with crayons, 
markers, paints, Play-Doh. They enjoyed watching different videos. I am honored to say that it was a blessing to work with Seth and Sephon. Although they are twins, they are unique in their own ways, yet they still complement each other. Seth and Stefan are two amazing and wonderful children, and I am hoping that these lessons we learned this year, will, they will keep it in their hearts, and they will make use of the, these teachings whenever situation arises. Today we'll be reciting the fifth commandment. Honor your father and mother that your days may be long upon the land the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thank you. Next, we'll hear from our Busy Bee class under the direction of their teacher, Mrs. Danielle Lewis. Good morning, church. This year in my class, I've, I think I've reverted to a couple of years when Adventurers started when I first came and I had a class full of boys. It is, I always say it is God's humor to me because I was raised in a home with only girls. Um, I come and I teach classes and I get only boys. I live in a house with mostly men. Um, so I had to come back. So it's, it's always lots of fun and it always helps to keep me young. Um, this year in my class, I had Mr. Gunner, will you please come up? And Mr. Bakari, will you please come up? Mr. Cameron, and Miss Aria, yes? Now, I usually have a long written out speech, and today I am negative of that. However, um, I will say my teaching style, when I look at all of the lessons that we have to teach our children that comes to myself, my God, my world, my family, um, we are trying to teach them that God is in all of those things. And a culmination of all those things is what we should think of when we are teaching our classes. So when I'm doing activities, sometimes it's a little hard because the boys want to be excited and rowdy. Um, and this year I have one young lady who just sits and she's the most quiet student, of course. <laughs> And sometimes she's even said, how come they just can't be quiet? <laughs> um, but they are lessons to be learned. But I will say, even though I have that great mix, um, they create a bond. I believe that they understand the lessons on the level that they need to so that they can share God with others. Um, sometimes we have also spent class time where I only have maybe one or two students and we make the best of it. Um, I'm always glad that I don't get a sad face because they're the only student. They're like, oh, I'm the only student. I go, but I'm here. And they're like, okay. <laughs> so that makes me feel like the job is being well done. Um, my things that I will bring out about each person. So Miss uh, Rhea, this is her first year with me. And I will say that she brings a calm to our class, but she also brings her creativity that sometimes, um, sometimes I feel that the students also um, look at what she does and they try to be able to be creative and I believe that that is a leadership skill because sometimes when you are looking to others they are doing something that maybe you desire or something that you want to do she's a very good example of that and so I appreciate her for that being in our class um, for Mr. Cameron this is my um, fun guy I call him he is my gregarious guy in my class he reminds me of my youngest son um, but he always brings a smile but I will say under all of that he has the ability to be specific in what he does, and he is also very intelligent. He's able to communicate what he's doing, and sometimes you won't know it's there because he's busy making you smile or to be happy. And so I appreciate what he brings to our class when he brings that to our class. 
Um, Mr. Bakari, I think I said this in one of our, in one of our adventurer meetings. Um, Mr. Bakari, how does he touch me? I am a very words person. I like words, um, especially tricky words, and then I also like expression. Mr. Bakari, when he speaks and when he prays, if you have not noticed it when we are in church, he has such diction that he brings you into the joy of what he is feeling and what God gives him. When he prays, I don't know about you in, this, in the audience, but when he prays and he's thank God for everything, even the little things, and he just makes you feel that God is there for the big things and the small things. And I don't know about you, but that does a lot for me. So thank you, Mr. Bakari, for bringing that to us. I really appreciate that. Um, my other thing is you are also my creative guy. You love lots of colors, and I like that. All right, Mr. Gunner, when you first came to our class, I thought he was going to be the quietest person <laughs> or maybe the shyest person. I want you to know, church, no. <laughs> this is my fun guy, and he is full of a wealth of information. When we talk about science, when we talk about math, um, when we are trying to bring all of those things and colors into our projects, this young man right here, He's our guy. He can bring you in, he can let you know what you're doing, why you're doing it, why this color blends with that and makes that color. He helps you to understand why you're doing it. And so for you, Mr. Gunner, I so appreciate you bringing that to our class, okay? You guys have all brought something wonderful that has made our class very unique and I'm very proud of you. This morning, they are going to share um, a Bible verse with you. And then Ms. Aria is going to share uh, one of our last verses, and she's going to share also what that verse means. So we'll start here first with Mr. Gunner. Okay. Children, obey your parents because you belong to the Lord, for this is the right thing to do. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with promise. If you honor your father and mother, things will go well for you. We'll have a long life on the earth. Fathers, do not uh, provoke. provoke your children to anger by the way you treat them. Rather, bring them up with the disciples and introduction instruction that, that comes from the Lord. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be destruction, discouraged, for I am your God. Will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right, victorious right hand. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Psalms 51.10. means that I ask God to help make me a better person and allow the Holy Spirit to come in me. Thank you, 
CBs, you may be seated. Next, we'll hear from the builder class under the direction of their teacher, Mrs. Sonovia McFall. Good morning, happy Sabbath. I had the privilege of teaching the older group. I had my four students, my, my Mr. Cool, my walking Bible, and my two mamas of the group. <laughs> and so at this time, I will invite Sally, Zaria, Ryan, and Kevin to come on up to the stage. Um, we too covered, covered the, four, the four areas. And when I start, I like to start with myself because I want them to first understand who they are. Um, and then they will be able to understand the God, um, sorry, not the God, but the God in them, God, for God to exude his presence through them so that they can reach people. And the people that we focused on lastly were, um, the last uh, area we covered were people with handicap and they got an understanding of who these people are and how they can reach them. And we focused on the heart of herring. And so they, face off, take this off first. And so they got the privilege of learning a song in sign language, along with a few words, how to introduce themselves and the alphabet and so on and so forth. And so today, they will minister in song to you, a short song, God is so good. Thank you so much. If you saw me did this, this was me clapping in sign language. So go ahead and give them a round of applause. Thank you. At this time, we will award our adventurers with their chips and awards they have earned this year. Before we call our adventurers forward to receive their awards, we would like to recognize and welcome our youth conference, our, our Ohio Conference youth pastor, Pastor Joe. Thank you for being here. He will be assisting us with our investiture. 
uh, we would like him, he's already here, so uh, we would like for you to pin each graduating adventurer, and we would like to also invite our pastor, our pastor to come forward as well. Um, so teachers, um, as your class is called, if you could move, give the pin over to them. So, um, okay. Do you want us to move over there? Yes. Okay. Probably you guys can come over here. <coughs> you want to tell Piper that? Um, they can be on that side of them. So. Do you want us yes. over here? On the other side. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. All right. <coughs> First, um, we'd like to start with our Busy Bee class. This year, we had a new um, Busy Bee teacher and new to adventurers, and um, we are gonna have her come forward so that she can be pinned as the Eager Beaver teacher and receive her awards. So she taught um, the Eager Beaver chips. They are beavers, Bible friends, God's world, alphabet fun, manners fun, know your body, fire safety, helping at home, Pets, Toys, My Community Friends, Playing With Friends, Scavenger Hunt. And additional pins, ad additional chips were birds, crayon and markers, gadgets and sand, shapes and sizes, sponge, art, and stamping fun. She did all of that in one year. <clears throat> Thank you, you can remain up front. Next, we'd like to call Mr. Seth McFall to come forward. He receives an eager be beaver pin and receives the chips, all the chips that I have just mentioned. <clears throat> Let's give a hand to Seth. <clears throat> if there's anyone that would like to take pictures, that would be great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, Next, we have Mr. Stephen McFall. <clears throat> Stephen also receives all 12 Eager Beaver chips and the additional chips that I mentioned. Let's um, give a hand again to our Eager Beaver class. <clears throat> okay. Okay, next, we have um, our Busy Bee class. First, we'd like to call Ms. Mr. Bakari Frevrier. Mr. Bakari. Mr. Bakari receives an eager, uh, a Busy Bee pin, and he receives awards in Reading One, Bible One, Friends of Animals, Friends of Jesus, Health Specialist, Spotter, Safety Specialist, Cooperation, Artist, Acts of Kindness, and Trees. <laughs> Next, we have Miss Aria King. She also receives a Busy Bee pin, and she receives awards in Reading One, Bible One, Friends of Animals, Friends of Jesus, Health Specialist, Spotter, Safety Specialist, Cooperation, Artists, Acts of Kindness, and Trees. <clears throat> Next we have Mr. Cameron Pankey. He receives a Busy Bee pin. <clears throat> and he receives awards in Reading One, Bible One, Friends of Animals, Friends of Jesus, Health Specialist, Spotter, Safety Specialist, Cooperation, Art, Artists, Acts of Kindness, Trees, and he receives an additional award in God's Universe. Next, we have Mr. Gunnar Tarads. He receives the Busy Bee pin, <clears throat> and he receives awards in Reading One, Bible One, Friends of Animals, Friends of Jesus, Health Specialist, Spotter, Safety Specialist, Cooperation, Artist, Acts of Kindness, and Trees. <clears throat> Moving on to our builder class, we have Mr. Ryan Anekaber. <clears throat> Ryan receives the Builder Pin and awards in Reading 3, Media Critic, Temperance, Beadcraft, Family Helper, Wise Steward, Ten Commandments, Prayer, Magnet Fun 1, and Sign Language. <clears throat> Next we have Mr. Kevin Pankey. 
<clears throat> he received a, receives a builder pin. And he has awards in reading three, media critic, temperance, beadcraft, family helper, wise steward, Ten Commandments, prayer, and sign language. <laughs> Next we have Ms. Zaria Newman. She receives the Builder Pin, and she receives awards in reading three, media critic, temperance, beadcraft, family helper, wise steward, Ten Commandments, prayer, magnet, fun one, and sign language. Next, we have, and last but not least, Miss Sally Sweet. She receives a builder pin. Yeah, that's different. And <clears throat> she receives awards in reading three, media critic, temperance, bead craft, family helper, wise steward, Ten Commandments, prayer, magnet, fun one, and sign language. <clears throat> I'd like uh, Mr. Kevin Pankey, if you can come forward again and stand up. This is um, Kevin's, Kevin Pankey's last year in the Adventurer program. It was his first year and it's also his last year. <laughs> so we would just like to give him a hand for being in Adventurers this year. <laughs> He's going to move on to hopefully Pathfinders next year. <clears throat> Amen. Man. All right. Okay, thank you very much. Um, all right. So, we're going to move on to the next slide. <clears throat> um, maybe not. Okay, <laughs> put it back. I'm sorry, Philip, the, the previous slide. Okay, um, this year our adventurers had the privilege of participating in the Ohio Conference Adventurer Bible Game. The adventurers were required to read um, Luke 1 to 24, the whole book and answer questions in preparation for a competition amongst other participating Ohio Conference clubs. I am pleased to report that the Village Explorers Adventurer Club received a first place recognition. <clears throat> we are very proud of the hard work by the adventurers, their parents and grandparents in helping them study. <clears throat> Last but not least, thank you to Mrs. Sonovia McFall for providing the study questions and being their coach. So at this time, um, I'd like to call um, the individuals who participated in that <clears throat> uh, to receive their Adventurer Bible Game pin and a copy of the first place certificate. So and I'll have Mr. shake their hand. He was at the event, he knows. <laughs> All right, our first certificate uh, goes to Mr. Ryan Anekaber, if you can come forward. <laughs> Next we have Zaria Newman. <clears throat> then we have Cameron Pankey. <clears throat> then Kevin Pankey Jr. And last but not least, Gunnar Tarot. <laughs> Thank you so much. You may be seated. Okay, um, at this time, I'd like to thank our um, adventurer staff. Um, it's not always been easy with busy schedules, um, but they took the time out to be at every adventurer meeting as, as far as possible and to prepare to meet with our adventurers. I'd like to recognize Mrs. Della Fevrier. Um, a lot of times she was coming straight from working a night shift as a nurse to come here and teach um, our eager beavers, so we appreciate you. Please stand. <clears throat> then, <clears throat> Mrs. Danielle Lewis. Uh, Mrs. Danielle is not only a teacher for adventurers, but also for pathfinders, but she was always there from um, 
98% of our adventure meetings waiting with a smile to energize our adventurers. Thank you so much, Danielle. <clears throat> Uh, Mrs. Sanovia McFall, what can I say? Thank you for being my assistant director. Um, a lot of things people don't see behind the scenes. Um, Sanovia was uh, very helpful um, to us, to me this year. Um, Ty, thank you for taking time out of, out of your busy schedule um, to be our builder teacher. Your unique style and creativity, and your, it brings a breath of fresh air to our kids, and they were always challenged by you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, last but not least, we had two gentlemen that stepped into the role of teacher when our teachers were unable to teach, and that Mr. Oral Newman and our pastor, Ashton McFall. <clears throat> I also want to thank the parents for bringing your children to meetings and supporting our program. Without you, we wouldn't have any children to teach, so thank you. At this time, Pastor McFall, if you can come forward and give a special prayer for our adventurer families. And also, if we can have our adventurer families stand, uh, uh, the parents, if you all can stand, and adventurers stand as we have a prayer. I'm, I'm going, anyone can feel free to stand. I'm going to invite Pastor Audinger to pray for us. Thank you. Let's bow our heads. God in heaven, what a privilege it is to be in your house today with your kids. God, we thank you for these families that have dedicated themselves to taking time to help these uh, young people learn more about the world they live in and their relationship with school and everything around them, but most importantly, their relationship with you. God, I pray that the time spent would be in their minds and in their hearts in ways that the Holy Spirit would be able to bring out in times that they need it most. God, we thank you for the fun year of adventures this year. I pray a special prayer of dedication for the staff that we have. We thank you for the hours of committed ministry that they're involved with, the patience that it takes, and uh, the times of laughter as well as some tears. God, I also pray a prayer of dedication for these young people. We think for each one of these adventures, the things that you have for them, the plans that you have set, and I pray that they will continue to follow with you as you open up those doors for them. But God, also for these families and this church, what a beautiful place to raise up your young people with the family of God here. God, I thank you for the commitment here and for the pastor and his leadership. I pray that you would continue to have this be a safe environment, that these young people would look back fondly in their memories and help keep them strong in their faith with you. God, we thank you for all you do for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, we'll go into our offering right now. 